the live is preparing and we're live. Hi. Hello. Nice to see everybody here. I love Story Cells evening when I get to hang out with this beautiful crew. And we're going to do the reveal. And um, sorry, my chat just went down. There it is. Okay, cool. So we were hashtagging support all week. And the quote is, nevertheless, when there is no one around you to give you the encouragement, motivation, and support you need, God's word is always there. And that's by Ruben Beretta from You Have What It Takes, God. And I am so excited to hear what everyone has to say. And we're going to start with Coach Nicole. Hey, hey, everyone. Super excited. For those of you watching us live, drop down where you're watching us from. If you're watching uh, the, on the replay, just hashtag replay and tell us where you're watching from. Super excited about all these amazing students and everything they have contributed this week. It has been so exciting what's happening in our stories community and our business communities. And so this week really was a demonstration of how God is working through this um, awesome group of people. Um, you've seen these seeds planted. We've seen how, you know, God's just stirring and all these different things. And may, while you may not have that, you know, extra encouragement from others when you might be looking for it, to know that God is always working behind the scenes is really, really quite extraordinary. So this quote for me really has um, shaped and helped me to see and experience what the community is um, going through right now, the growth that is happening. I mean, these folks here on this uh, live and their stories have been amazing. Their posts have been amazing. How uh, all the the level of, of uh, online presence, their success, their, you know, just the way that they're re responding to each other, all these really great things have been happening in the last week. And so my story is really echoed everyone's success not only in stories and other ways but that's how i wanted to honor people this week was with what how god is working in their lives and just to be able to celebrate them and um really to just say awesome great support all the way around for everyone here just encouraging one another so back to you coach that is awesome thank you so much i love it um, yeah, and God has been working and you can see all the pl the planting that we've been doing over these last couple of years, building this really amazing community and now all the sprouts are coming up and it's awesome to watch. I just love it. Thank you so much. All right, Miss Kay, super excited to hear what you had to say about um, this quote and, quote and hashtag support. Um, I, I think the hashtag support it is, is awesome and it, it, it's a hug. So as many times um, I, I tell people that have helped me, put your left hand on your right shoulder and your right hand on your left shoulder and, and hug. So there's been many times that this week has been um, a lot of challenges and I, I was so blessed um, on each, each of the challenges and things were solved. So um, it, support is a hug. Back to you, Coach. Oh, that's so beautiful, Kay. And you're right. Support is a hug. And and the cool thing about this community with us all being online, we can even do that remotely with each other. And we do all the time. Um, and we're all sending you big hugs. We know you've had a few challenges this week and we just love you. Thank you very much for sharing. All right, Miss Dana, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thanks for having me. Um, I was excited about this word because this is one of my three words. One of the three words that um, represent who I am and what I stand for. Uh, one of those words is support. And um, when I saw the quote, first of all, um, um, God and his Holy Spirit is my support. I wouldn't be here without it. And I also think of the law of reciprocity. And I'll, and I'll follow up with that at the end. But um, one of the things, I'm becoming the person and surrounding myself with these type of people um, to be compassionate because we're not always at 100%. 
Sometimes we need someone to lift us up. Sometimes we need a shoulder to cry on. So we need that type of support. Um, we also, sometimes we don't have all the answers, all right? Sometimes we um, need to go to someone for some help. We um, surround ourselves with people who um, are edu educated in certain areas, with mentors, trainers, uh, coaches, because we don't have all the answers and they are our support. They are the ones that push us to the next level, give us some guidance. They see our blind spots. So we need that support. And so um, the law of reciprocity, the reason why I brought that up is because sometimes we provide the support, sometimes we receive the support. So turn that back to you, Crazy Cat, Coach Cat. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And that's what I, one of the things I love most about this community is we all help each other and we all raise each other up. And some people have a good week and some people have not so good of a week. And it doesn't really matter because we're all helping each other. So thank you very much, Dana. I love it. And Coach Kibi, hashtag support. Yeah, so this was really a great word. Um, I've used it on a lot of screenshots on Zooms that we're on a lot because uh, this is very supportive and collaborative to meet on Zooms and have this online community. So for the quote, uh, nevertheless, when there's no one around to give you the encouragement or motiv motivation and support you need, God's word is always there and God is within us. So the great I am is me, I am. So I need to support me. And I feel like, I love what Dana said about when you give, you get, uh, but that's also given to yourself. And we always outwardly treat people the way we treat ourselves. So it first starts with supporting ourselves, giving ourselves the encouragement, giving ourselves the motivation. We can't wait on someone else. If we give it, if we get it from other people, that's great, but I don't expect it. I expect me to support me and then outwardly I can support others. So that's what this meant to me this week. Back to you, Kat. Thanks. Ah, beautiful. I have to take care of yourself so you can take care of others. Kind of like that thing on the airplane, put on your oxygen mask first and then you can help other people. Awesome. Miss Denise, Coach Denise, DNA detective. Hey, Kat, thanks for having me on here tonight. Um, it's always an honor to be a part of this group. Um, and it is a huge support network that I um, have the honor of being a part of, being supported by. And it was real interesting because our church this week wanted to kind of get a little head start on Thanksgiving. And so they challenged the congregation to post things that were that we were thankful for. And so each day we posted something and it went in great um, combination with hashtag support because the people who I posted about for the church hashtag um, were also a lot of the same people who offered support to me in my life. And um, it gave me an opportunity to kind of do both and remember and honor those people as well as um, the opportunity to say, you know, what other ways can we support ourselves? Um, certainly through choices that we make um, for our health. So I loved it and um, love the fact that God's always with us, even when we're by ourselves. So um, thanks for picking the quote and um, I'll send it back to you, crazy cat. Oh, beautiful. And you're right. God is always with us, especially when we are feel alone and we need somebody to hold our hand. He's, he goes through the valley with us. So that was beautiful. Thank you so much. All right. Next up is the beautiful Wanda, pretty in pink tonight. Thank you, Coach Kat. Um, yes, the word support is a set, the essential of who we are here because we're supporting each other. And that's kind of what I played out with off of um, is all the different ways that things around us support us. I mean, God is, God's word is most definitely the first and most important thing for our support. But then we have to look about, look around us and see of all the other things that support us, even to the wires that charge our phones and our 
uh, you know, technology and all that kind of stuff. So um, I kind of played off of that a little bit. It's just all the different things that support us um, in our life here. And um, knowing that God in us has given us those things that we, we have that support from. So back to you, Coach Kat. Oh, that's beautiful. Support is always around and there's so much to be grateful for, especially in this country um, with all the technology and everything else that we have around us all the time. So thank you, Wanda. That was beautiful. Wanda, Carmen, up next. With the beautiful hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this one uh, was a little bit different for me because when we support each other, sometimes we go on faith and trust, but there's a difference between faith, blind faith and, and faith through knowledge. So blind faith, you know, it, it, I don't know why, but it made me think of lemmings going off the deep end <laughs> into the ocean i don't know why but anyway so and and you know we just follow each other and we're just blind faith right and having faith in god is is fabulous but through through the bible through his word through uh communications with other people uh and Bible study that we have going on, uh, so uh, success through scripture and that, it is faith through knowledge. And that is empowering in itself. Thanks. That's what I got from this. Uh, oh, so beautiful. <laughs> that was a nice twist on it. I love it. So faith becomes knowledge by interaction with others and by seeing God's work, word at work. Thank you very much. Miss Virgie with the beautiful pose. It's been awesome to watch your growth, lovely. Thank you, uh, Coach Kat. Um, support, hashtag support has been, um, I, I've really enjoyed it. The uh, past few weeks has just been uh, a little rough, a little tough, but I thank God for um, his support. Um, but for me, um, support, we're surrounded by a lot of people and um, we need um, their support, um, especially our loved ones and all that. But um, sorry, um, sometimes we're not satisfied with the support that we get from others, um, but with God's word, um, it's always there to help us. And that's been my main support. Um, just going through my ups and downs through the past few weeks. So hashtag support has been awesome. And I love you all. And I thank you all for your support as well. Thank you. And we love you, Virgie, and, and your openness and your honesty through your stories and just being vulnerable and the number of other people that it's going to help. And you're right. God is always with us. So thank you so much, sweetie. All right, Coach Noel. Oh gosh, <laughs> uh, my screen froze for a sec. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. It just glitched out. Um, well, I'm excited to hear the beautiful Virgie. Um, and thank you for your vulnerability because that gives me strength. Um, so I wanted to also be slightly vulnerable and talk about um, fear um, and, and anxiety. We were talking about that earlier today, but I didn't, just out of the blue, um, had anxiety come up and hadn't had it for so many years. So it's just such an uncomfortable feeling. And it really is, I can say, it, as much as we learn when you're in that spot, it's sometimes even difficult to call on those resources. You know, even a prayer, it's like, oh, I don't know, you know, it's really strange um, how it just gets your mind spinning, right? But in reflection of that, one we talked about today was ego. 
and how the if you use that the acronym edging god out so that fear comes from the ego mm -hmm. and that ego is pushing god out mm -hmm. so um having support and even for for me i knew that this community um and my family you know i have deep deep support in um, and sometimes again those journeys are just ones you kind of have to walk yourself walk through yourself but when you have the this type of a community um we did a live today so it made me think of it's like our parachute you know and we can pull that cord when we need to or somebody can pull it for us if we can't if you know there's there are support system um so I love this quote. And the last thing I'll say about it is I had this idea in, in the searching of, you know, my father passed away and this isn't, this is just a fact, you know, many years ago, it's 25 or so. So for so many years, I was like, well, I'm looking for a father figure, not, not in my husband, but just somebody, a man out there that I can get great advice from. And let me just say in the human form, sometimes I would be greatly let down. And well, that's not the person. Well, I guess that's not the person. And I found some men that I do admire. And also some, you know, they don't have time for everyone. They have their own businesses and families and things. So the last thing I'll say is that it dawned on me that um, man or woman in whatever form or shape, God is our father. And that's really the only father I need. I have a father on this earth. But really, that father that I've been searching has always been right there. So thank you for this quote, Kat. It's beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much, Noelle. And thank you, everybody, for all your vulnerability. I've really struggled in the last several weeks as I was writing my book. It was the hardest thing, hardest and coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. And I'm just so grateful for God, my father, because I would spend a lot of time talking to him and for the coach and for the support of this whole group. <laughs> Everybody posting the pictures has just been so, meant so much to me because um, you share a lot of yourself and you put a lot of your heart and soul into it. Wanda knows that and coach knows that she's written before and many of you will be authors if you're not already. Um, it's really awesome and I can't say enough positive things about it, but it kind of, it sucks out everything, you know, and he, I even wasn't even really active online and I love being online now, but I just didn't have anything left, you know, other than praying to God and just trying to make my way through it. So anyway, I just appreciate all the support of this organization and, and all the love that you guys have given me on the book as I'm, I've been a little bit in recovery and now I'm starting to feel better and feel I'm like myself again. So I'm just glad to be back and glad to be here. And I love you all very much. And what a great week that I get to do because it's Thanksgiving, which is my favorite holiday. And it always reminds me of how grateful I am to live in this country, to have the freedoms that I, that we have, and to have the freedom to worship our great and amazing God, because a lot of people and countries don't have that opportunity. And so anyway, so there we go. So uh, the quote one more time is nevertheless, when there is no one around you to give you the encouragement, motivation, and support you need. God's word is always there. And that's by Ruben Beretta. And we appreciate all of you guys and drop down where you're watching from and give us some love. And we'll see you next Monday with a brand new quote. Can't wait. Bye.